Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, a place where you can take some time to learn about body language and nonverbal communication. How easy it is to be able to read the minds of others through the subconscious signals they send to you without even knowing about it. Likewise, the signals you send out into the world. If you're interested in learning more, please click subscribe. And without further ado, we're going to get on with the lesson. So thank you. Right, so today's lesson is going to be regarding the image in front of you. It's about placing one or both hands across the genital area, okay? So the hands may be interlocked or not. All right, it's called the, well, I don't know, you could call it the broken zipper. You could call it the loincloth. Me, personally, I call it the funeral pose, all right? And why I call it the funeral pose because somebody said that I looked like I was at a funeral because I do this behavior, or at least I used to. I um, can't remember the last time I've consciously caught myself doing it, but uh, I definitely used to do it a lot and I didn't think much of it and I didn't think of much regarding people doing it generally. Uh, I felt it looked all right. I didn't know the meaning behind it. So what it shows is that the individual feels emotionally exposed okay the coverage of the genitals is definitely a defense mechanism okay as when we're subconsciously threatened by some degree we will cover our neck our wrists our torso our genital area anywhere that is a potential hazard uh, for our own survival purposes, all right? So when I used to do this pose, it wasn't when I was by myself in the house, it was when I was in social environments, okay? In an anxious state. Um, now, I might not consciously be aware that I was anxious, but my body spoke for me, all right? So this is what this represents. In group photos, you'll see people next to each other, big smiles on their faces, each of them expressing themselves, and you may catch one or two individuals standing in this position, showing how they really feel, all right? So it exposes an emotional uh, discomfort, all right? It's a threat response, as we've just spoken, uh, as it's a defense mechanism, and it, you know, controls the safety of the genital area. Um, we have women in the photo, but... I assume that men use this behavior the most. Uh, I definitely see men use this behavior the most, okay? Now, this can be, um, the hands could be replaced by a podium of sorts. Let's say an individual is public speaking. It could be replaced with books. If someone's holding books or alike, uh, clipboards, and so on and so forth. Now, them objects make things a little bit easier, okay? And that links in with the video I had on body blocking. So blocking the body with objects or through any means to uh, ensure the security of the torso area, all right? So we go from open body language to closed body language. And what we see here with the... Uh, interlaced hands at the front of the body is a uh, shield of sorts it's closed body language okay so it's somewhat alike the standing leg cross as to where the individual is um, you know standing upright perhaps resting against the wall with their legs crossed um, it's a sign of comfort to some degrees the individual doesn't have to run away from anything uh, but it's also a um, closure of that genital area okay whereas when we are comfortable we're a little more expansive um well obviously it's a sign of comfort because we don't have to run away in regards to the leg cross but it's not so comfortable that we delve into the territorial expansive uh, zone where we feel like we can spread ourselves out and as men expose our genital areas to potentially threaten or show off to other individuals which is what we do it's a very primitive animalistic behavior uh, it's still with us to this day um it's hand holding behavior all right so perhaps it's regressive as well as a defense mechanism so when we're young, we hold hands with our parents, we hold hands with others, uh, we feel security in doing so. Um, the pressure of the hand against our hand releases feel-good endorphins to the brain as the hand is covered in nerve endings. And when we're older, 
we may hold our own hand to uh, regress back to them feelings in the face of stress, okay? Because as we know, all of these uh, self-soothing, self-touching behaviours uh, are linked to childhood, or at least most of them are, okay? So... Um, you might see this behaviour, as I said, with a group of people and taking photos. Uh, perhaps when an individual is being shown around a new workplace. So let's say it's an office. Uh, they're being shown around by a supervisor. And as they stop to have a look around with the supervisor, they may form this position. Looking comfortable, the chest is out, the shoulders are back. They feel like they're looking good. People see them as looking good but the hands are covering the genitals in the face of uh, the unknown, okay? The potential threat of not knowing who these people actually are, all right? So it represents shyness, a lack of confidence, and it shows itself quite often in unfamiliar environments, right? Just to re-clarify, it is a closed body position, and... This is something we'll do when we are uh, disrobed. Uh, some people have anxious dreams where they're completely naked. Uh, I have done in the past um, in regards to uh, taking an exam uh, completely naked. Obviously, it's down to anxiety, uh, but I'll let, I'll let the real psychologists uh, make their mind up as to what that means. So um, It's the position we take when we have no clothes, so it exposes us it's a fear of being exposed and um you know having that pure defenseless position all right we don't want to be defenseless we want to be comfortable and confident and free and we want to be able to survive or at least that's our brain's number one purpose to look after us all right so it links to overexposure and anxiety. It's a barrier, it's defensive, and it's protective. Okay? So this isn't the literal name for the behavior, but I call it the funeral pose. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Bye.